Does age impact male fertility is another wonderful question that I think we need to address right here. And the answer is absolutely. In fact, it used to be that we used to think women were the only part of the species that was impacted by age. But we're getting to understand much, much more that male fertility is very much impacted by age. And the way in which sperm is impacted by age is that the DNA fragmentation increases, the ability of the sperm to swim and its shape can also be negatively impacted by age. So even if you've had a child five, 10, however many years ago, and or you've had a semen analysis that was done you know, uh, previously and it was okay, the reality is that your sperm is the result, the, the, the predominant result of what was happening, yes, over your lifetime until now, but predominantly over the last four months right, until now. And sometimes it can actually take about two or three sperm cycles to see any change in sperm whatsoever. So the same way that you might be doing a whole lot of wrong things and it's not impacting your sperm today, in three, four or more cycles from now, it will absolutely categorically have a negative impact. And that applies to the reverse also. If you're doing all of the right things, it may take two or three sperm cycles, which are about three and a half to four months each, to see an improvement in, in sperm quality. So if you're wanting to have a baby, if you have been struggling with fertility problems or miscarriages, because you know one of the other things that a lot of people don't realize is you know miscarriage risk is a 50-50 equation. 50% 50 of the reason as to why miscarriage happens is to do with the egg, 50% is to do with the sperm. So looking at all of those factors in combination is going to make a huge difference to the ability of a couple to keep a healthy pregnancy to term. And of course, you know, start having babies as much as you can as early as possible. Don't leave it until you start to feel the, the clock ticking and feel like, oh my God, you know, now is the time because I've left it too late and, and everything else. Now, obviously for the vast majority of my patients, that's not the issue. The vast majority of my patients have been trying to conceive for many, many years. And you're probably watching this and going, you know, I've been trying for, you know, 10 years. I've had patients who have been trying for 19 years who came to us and ended up having a baby through our program. So I understand that it might not be relevant necessarily to you in the wording of trying to conceive, having just started trying to conceive. However, here is the really important thing, is if you're doing things to optimize your sperm, you really need to be looking at this as a long-term proposition, right? It's not just doing a little bit here right now, doing it for a month and then, you know, stopping it or doing something else. So that's the key thing and the thing that you need to realize and that you need to understand. So I hope that helps and uh, it makes you even more fertile down the track as well. Until next time, bye for now.